As a marketer, you know there are only so many hours in a day. That's why it's important to have tools like marketing automation to save you time and help you nurture the contacts in your database. Workflows, HubSpot's marketing automation app, allows you to deliver context-rich marketing that your leads are going to love with targeted email nurturing campaigns. There's two easy ways to get started with workflows. You can start from scratch or choose from several recipes that have been tried, tested, and proven effective by the marketing experts here at HubSpot. It's a great way to get up and running quickly if you're new to marketing automation. Creating a campaign from scratch starts by choosing a trigger. You can choose to enroll contacts manually into the campaign or have them automatically enroll when they join a list or submit a form. Professional and enterprise customers can trigger workflows based off of page views, and enterprise customers can run campaigns to contacts who've completed an event. Because the Workflows app taps into HubSpot's entire inbound marketing platform, I can create a list based on virtually any criteria, including details from my CRM system, lifecycle stages, personas, custom lead scores, and much more. Triggering a workflow this way will automatically enroll new contacts who, over time, fit the criteria I've set in my list. That way, my campaign will always be running, and I can get off the treadmill of constantly creating new ones. Once I've created a set of contacts, I'll attach that list to my workflow to enroll them into my campaign. Next, I'm going to set a goal. Using a goal list in your nurturing campaigns is what sets workflows apart from other marketing automation tools. By selecting a goal list for my workflow, I'm setting the criteria I'll use to measure the true impact of my campaign. Since the goal of most email marketing campaigns is to nurture people through your funnel, I'll measure the success of my workflows based on how many people I've been able to move further down along in their buyer's journey and have therefore joined my goal list. This particular campaign is designed to get leads to request a demo on my website. When someone in this campaign does request a demo, the campaign will stop for them. I can add as many steps as I'd like in my workflow. Let's say I add sending contacts an email featuring my latest case study as a step. I'd want to optimize my next communication with this prospect by using branching logic. With branching logic, sometimes referred to as conditional logic, I can do a quick check whether a contact has performed a desired action while in a workflow and follow up with them based on that information. In HubSpot, these branches act like mini goals that are still aligned with my overarching goal for the workflow. For example, if my workflow's goal is to get leads to request a demo, I can create different paths for my contacts based on how they are interacting with my content. These branches are used in my workflow to further optimize and qualify my contacts to get them to my goal. This makes my workflow much more personalized for each contact. Beyond sending emails, marketers can use workflows to perform other actions, like automating time-consuming internal tasks. Workflows can automatically update a contact property based on a form submission or a smart list, and send an email to a lead's owner when a lead becomes sales qualified. These are just some examples of the power of workflows. In short, creating personalized campaigns is easy when you use HubSpot. Because the Workflows app taps into HubSpot's entire inbound marketing platform, we can use data on contacts from multiple sources to create targeted nurturing experiences. To learn more about HubSpot's marketing automation, visit us at our website at www.hubspot.com.